Good afternoon, this is Chris Brecher with the Chart Patterns Mastery slash Simpler Trading free video for June 20th, 2024. What's this about? Well, if you were just looking at this chart, you would say that's a bear flag. Look at that. You got this breaking the ATR trailing stop. You know, I obsess on an intraday chart of not using a 20 not using anything other than the ATR trailing stop unless it gets too far from my from the ATR trailing stop then I like using the 20 so in that kind of way so then I have some way to stop myself in or out of direction now this is the problem with tomorrow number one you have this possible bear flag here where you broke and then have a bear flag on the other hand, you have two wild cards. One of them is usually after a protracted uptrend, the first break creates an oversold MACD as you see. So the key is how it works off that oversold condition. That's one way to look at it. The other thing to look at is the non-24 hour. And we're going to look at just the NDX. Uh, uh, sorry, that's the NDX. Now what we're going to look at in here is where's the real support? There's your real support. That's about 100 points lower. Theoretically, 100 points lower. Now you might say it's over but sold. You're right. And you've had a protracted uptrend. As you see, oversold. Now on the other hand, look at the SPX. The SPX is oversold, but where's the support in that? Same thing. So just keep in mind that we're going to be watching this tomorrow, but you might be like, well, how do you know if it's going to break or not? Well, number one, we're still watching the ES. The ES, as you see, this is the rollover gap when it went to the June contract uh, from the June to the September. The September has a U on it. Yeah, that's why we call it the spoos. That's what we did when we were on the floor. We called it the spoos all the time. As you see on an hourly chart oversold. You see this support, that's about 40 points lower. You see what's developing here, but this is 24 hour. So it could be a wedge, no doubt about it. And a lot of times it'll work off that oversold overnight. How about the NASDAQ? NASDAQ also trying to work off that oversold. But the good thing of the NASDAQ is at least it stopped a good support. Just keep that in mind. So it's how it works off. This oversold at the bottom, does it go back all the way up to these resistance areas? That's what we're going to be watching tomorrow. But I'll tell you right now, the way I'm doing it, and I'll show you with a think or swim, is I'm going to go, and one of the things I'm really good at is finding what traders are keen off of that day. Well, the thing is, NVIDIA has gone straight up, gone straight up. So they had NASDAQ's gone straight up. The second that NVIDIA started going down today, as you see, there's the NASDAQ on the right. There's your NVIDIA on the left. NVIDIA finally had that big old red reversal candle I'm talking about. If this is similar to Tesla after the split, not the day of the split, after you're going to get that oversold condition to start with. You're going to come back up to these areas. And then you short it again. So the key in here today was that when NVIDIA got blasted, blasted after the opening, that would meant to me that the NASDAQ was going to have a tough time having any kind of rally. So what happened in here, as you see, you had this little topping formation after the opening, followed by right here, preceded by an ugly reversal candle in the middle of the night. Then you got that NVIDIA refused to go higher when the NASDAQ tried to have a new high. So the second the NVIDIA sold off, the NASDAQ sold off, and once the NASDAQ sold off, it pulled down the ES, which is exactly what happened. Now, I think you could still have another little leg down. But just keep in mind, this is sort of healthy in a way. What am I talking about? Well, NVIDIA has led everything up. Led everything up, as you see. 
and you had the ES on the right going up. But you've had this narrow rally, real narrow rally. Keep that in mind. Well, what happened today? Well, you finally got the Dow Jones going up. You had the Russell. Now, I'm not saying it went up, but it didn't go down to the same kind of dra dramatics like the ES and the NASDAQ did. You had the transports, even the mighty, the lowly transports having a nice rally today up 177. That's one reason the overall market didn't crash because these type of stocks started going up. So you had the haves going down, the have nots going up. I think you'll see that again tomorrow. The key definitely is to watch the action of the Nvidia. So take care, have a great night. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chris Brecher, and I'm Senior Managing Director of Stocks at Sippler Trading. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like our content, please leave us a like and a comment down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification icon so you never miss any of our great new content coming out. Good trading, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care.